We depend on it entirely. Fresh water is life. Water makes things grow. Water is food, yet we waste it. Worldwide, one third of our food is lost or wasted. 1.3 billion tons of food are thrown away each year, leading to an incalculable waste of water, energy and investments, with repercussions for both land and people. Shipped around the globe, food is increasingly demanded far from where it was grown. Wherever waste occurs, it drains resources that are growing scarce around the world. Tossing out an apple is equivalent to seven times the water flushed down a toilet. If one litre of milk is thrown away, in effect it's much more than just a litre. It's about 1,000 litres of water needed for the cows and to grow their feed. Since roughly three times more food comes from rain-fed agriculture, the true misuse of water is much greater. The food waste in North America and Europe alone could feed all of the world's hungry three times over. But food waste is a global issue. In prosperous societies, food is wasted on a staggering scale at the retail and consumer levels, whereas in developing countries, a similar amount is lost due to lack of storage facilities, marketing arrangements and insufficient transport. What kind of corporate management would accept 33% in annual losses? Different challenges require different solutions. In the global north, we ought to scrutinize inconsistent standards such as best before dates, support corporate initiatives, reconsider trade and labor legislation, and give more thought to sustainable diets. On a global scale, overeating is much more common than undernutrition and has implications for food demand as well as public health. In developing countries, agricultural infrastructure and transport must be improved to enhance access to markets. This will benefit farmers as well as consumers. As a global community, we share existing water resources as a source of life, but increasingly we are going to share their scarcity too. Our global water resources are limited and highly variable. They might not keep up with population growth and people's choices of diet. The pressure on our freshwater resources is severe, even more so in the course of climate change, where food waste also plays a role. Agriculture accounts for a significant contribution to greenhouse gas emissions. An estimated 10% of global warming is being caused solely by our waste of food. Growing food needs plenty of energy, but it takes many times that energy to process, cook and refrigerate food. As a consequence, the waste of resources is even worse when we throw away packaged or ready-cooked food. But worst of all is when we throw away meat. One kilogram of meat calls for up to ten times more water than the same weight in cereal grains. Most of this water is used to grow animal feed. An excessive demand for food obtained from animals increasingly swallows up water and land. Producing one single hamburger, for instance, uses up 2,400 litres of water, with the meat part accounting for 2,200 litres. With each burger, a stack of 16 bathtubs full of water is consumed. From field to fork, our food supply chain has lots of leaks. 
before producing even more, let's run an efficiency check first. By reducing food losses and waste, overeating and an excessive demand for meat, there would not only be more food to feed the hungry, we would win back water, soil fertility and energy too. Multiple wins are within reach and without sacrificing a thing.